Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a brand new live stream on the channel. Tonight is Saturday Night Live featuring Nasha Vlogs, part two out of six. Say hi, mate. Hi. So let's get people on this stream. It may take a little bit of time, but oh well. I'm not, I'm not. NBC for using the name Saturday Night Live. Pardon? It'd be funny if um, the uh, TV company NBC started suing us. Why? Because they own the franchise. So no one call me Mexican. Or if you call me Mexican, I'll just call you a cat. Oh, mate, you're acting like a dark head right now, bro. Shut up. You tell me to shut up again, I'll punch you. You're going to punch me virtually through the screen. Yeah, I'll punch you in your fat ass, bitch. <laughs> Why, you remember that thing we were playing the other night? What? Oh, oh, Kim, no, oh, here we go, Braddy's got a question, Braddy's got a question for us, who's our favourite YouTuber, go for it, Kim, start off. Yeah, Jack's up to And then guess who's mine? Angry Grandpa. No, that's actually my second. It's Max Mofo, the first one. I thought it would be Ali Law, considering the copy and half his content. Shut up. Let's take you back to Nasha Vlogs 2018. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, it was actually late 2018 I started doing that. Late Stop being a junkie, Kim. <laughs> I'm a fucking junkie. Yeah, you are. It's not good for your health. You're the fucking junkie. I, oh, well, I have smoked weed a couple of times, but not recently. So thank you very much. I ain't no junkie, thank you. Guys, I'm so sorry. This is just such random shit we're talking. It always is. It always will be every week. Guys, um, <laughs> Nash, I've just had this really fun idea of, like, uploading some of the stuff that we get up to. And, like, you know, the voice recording that we do, the voice recordings that we do when we get absolutely angry as hell at each other. <laughs> we should just... Guys, it is honestly the first thing. Oh, my God, guys. People don't understand. So the video that I uploaded of me getting locked in that cupboard, all right, pretty much, all right, that fire alarm was going off for about five minutes. Wasn't it? <laughs> that fire alarm. Uh, Adrian Chase. <laughs> five. Oh, really? That's such a good idea to say after I spent literally five days in hospital because of mental health. That's really a good idea. Um, Braddy's vlog, cat or dog? Cat. Dog. Because I have one. Yeah, Kim, you do realise that you only want a dog. It's because, um, because actually Mexicans eat dogs and, you know, so... You are. You are. You are. You are. You're homophobic. What? You're homophobic. 
Oh, I am. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right, so what I was saying was, Ken, what's your who's your worst YouTuber in your own opinion? I will always stand by this and this is Jake Paul. I hate that fucking prick. Right, number one, you're gonna hate me from this. Right, say three. So Jake Paul's first. Who's your second most hated YouTuber? Least favourite. Number two, number two, I say, oh, hard, hard one actually. I would say, Markiplier. Really? Yeah, I, I hate his voice. Jeez. And then third... Um, Really? Yeah, I, just, I hate his fucking accent. Oi, people have been messaging me saying that I look like him as a little uh, version. No, you look a more paler version of fucking Ali Law. <laughs> Sorry. Any video plans? Well, not really. It's hard to plan videos at this moment in time because we don't know when it's going to fucking end. There's talking about a second wave happening as well. Yeah, that's why they won't come out of lockdown. If anything, I don't think we're going to be at... I'd like to be optimistic and say we're going to be out of lockdown after the 7th, but I think they should just do one more free week... Lockdown. Yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Three weeks, and then end of May, release it. Yeah, 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 definitely. That's the first thing you've actually said sensible on the stream, Kim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it real. Let's be realistic here. Yeah. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to talk about Tyler now, just for five minutes. So what happened is after the video, we um, were on Google Hangouts with him and he denied absolutely everything. So as I explained, um, in 2018... Yeah, so in 2018, um, in December, we decided to both go to... Uh, we had a sleepover. Um, I don't know why I let him. Um, but we had a sleepover, and then um, this is when I had a job at the... Um, what is it? Like, the best... I'd say it's probably, like, the best theatre in Hampshire, isn't it? One of the best. So I had a job... Yeah, one of the best. I think the Anvil has to be the best one. No, Mayflower. No, Mayflower, sorry, yeah. So, um, I decided not to work that day, so we went to Southampton, and at the end of the day in the Marlins, um, I was trying to get a photo in there, and um, there was this lady trying to um, hang something up, and then this guy started having a go, so I said to him, mate, shut up. So he came up to me, grabbed me by the throat and, you know, did the pose ready to punch me. So obviously, because I was a little bitch back then, if this was the case right now, let's just say he would have had my foot across his jaw within about two seconds. But um, I screamed and everything. Tyler fake cried, went on his phone, fake cried to someone, started laughing afterwards and I 
Seriously, like, <sighs> that's just wrong, man. You don't do that. Because I'm not at a dickhead. I did, we did so much for him, and the way that we repay him, he will not be anyone, he will not be relevant ever again. And, like, I mean, yeah, he's had shit go on in his life and that. Like, obviously, no, I. Blame it on, blame it on mental health, and I'm like, you cannot blame your own mistakes on mental health. I know, but listen, I'm not going to lie, the kid's gone through quite a few things now i'm not going to go on about why but obviously i do feel a bit bad for what's happened with his family member but you can't you can't throw away over 250 subscribers all together all right you can't do that guys if i could bring back my old youtube channel ryan and nasha vlogs i would I would, you know, and there's so many fans who do not know about this YouTube channel. There's so many fans on that channel who do not know about this YouTube channel who all probably think, oh, he's gone for good. It's one of the biggest mistakes of the life. And Kem, guess what? Listen to this. That channel went up 300 views yesterday, even though it's not going on anymore. I just want to say, to those fans who keep asking us to bring Ryan and Nash and Bob's back, we physically can't. We can't. We can't. The channel's gone. It's gone. There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can do about it. That's it. All, all we can suggest is that if you want to keep watching Ryan and Nash's content, then subscribe to our own separate channels. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And all I want to say, right, he picked himself up, all right, for having um, 150 subscribers. Listen to this. Tyler's vlogs, when he, in, he started in August, I do believe, after I met him. When he started out, he was innocent. He really was. He really was. Guys, I don't like saying this, but he was a really nice person. He was really, really nice. But as soon as he met Kim, it always used to be either me or Kim in the middle. We'd always be having arguments. It meant that Kim and I took a two and a half month break from seeing each other. We didn't speak on the phone or on YouTube or anything. And trust me, no, when it's serious is when we don't talk to each other on our phone or anything. Yeah. So, it gets and listen to this. He picked himself up, right? So he started in August, all right? Listen to this. He got 150 subscribers. Well done. He started bigging himself up on getting two and a half thousand views in four months. Guys, I went up 515 subscribers yesterday. So if my so if my maths is correct, I would have gotten the amount of views that he got in five months in four days. If it in four or five days, if it continues. Yeah. Guys, do not big yourself up on subscribers. Do not big yourself up. Because guys, you may have heard of this YouTuber called Deji, KSI's brother. He started bigging himself up for having 10 million subscribers. Guys, he went down from 10 mil to 9.94 million. Yeah, it's because he, apparently he bought them. Did he? Yeah, apparently they were fake. Jeez. And you know I've done that before. Yeah. Yeah. And then I lost, like, I lost pretty much 90% of it, so I went down from, like, 2.5k yeah. down to, like, what, 50, if not 100. 
we're going to wrap this one up here. It's been 45 minutes. Um, so, yeah. Big thank you to you, Kim, for joining the Saturday night stream. Um, obviously... We'll see you all again same time next week. Yeah, same time next week. 9.25, of course. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Braddy. Thanks, Beth. Thanks, Elliot. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, um, DJ As Beats, for coming in to this stream. We will see you on the next Saturday live stream featuring Mesh Vlogs. It may or may not be at the end of lockdown. Yeah. So obviously we're doing six of these. So we will see you next week. Shut up so I can do my fucking outro. Shut up so I can do my outro, bitch. <laughs> so guys, we will see you on the next one on the 9th of May, starting at 9.25 p.m. Until then, stay safe. And Kim, do you want to all call them cunts for the last time? Fuck off, no, you, fuck off you cunts. cunts. Peace out. <laughs> uh, there you go.